Welcome to our weekly energy forecast and meditation. Sabina, I'm Juna, and we're from Synergy in Motion, where it's all about empowering you to live true to you. Every week we bring you a piece of wisdom, something to contemplate, that is based in what is present in the zodiac currently and in the teachings of human design. And it is really the invitation for you to play with it, to explore it. How does it show up for you? Do you experience it? Do you see it in your environment? Mm -hmm. Just be present with that and see how it shows up for you. And this week? This week we have uh, the energy of hexagram three from the I Ching. And it is about difficulty at the beginning. So it's about all this energy. Remember, we've been in the quarter of initiation. So this is, we're, we're coming to the close of it. So the energy, the pressure is building. And we're at this point where there's so much energy to begin something that it can feel chaotic. It can feel like your energy wants to shoot in a million directions. And you're just wondering, what am I going to do? And the energy of the three is difficulty at the beginning because there's all these places you could go. So the grounding of this is the, is the hexagram 60, which is about limitation and accepting that, yeah, there's limitation here that we can uh, kind of rein this in. And it's about going from chaos to order to chaos to order. And this is the dance of life. This is what, you know, we live in all of the time when we go too much into the area of order we become stagnant and we want something new and we want to burst forth and then we burst forth like the spring and then we have all of this stuff going on and then we just want to pull back and just organize it and have some order so this this is a really really potent energy that brings mutation and change so the three and the sixty hexagrams work together in, in this channel in human design that we talk about. It's about mutation, transformation, change. And the energy of the three, which is really highlighted from April 17 to 22, is uh, beginning. And there's this urge to begin. Let's begin something, anything, breaking out of familiar routine and structure. Mm -hmm. And why it is so difficult is that we tend to like security and we tend to like somewhat of an order, even if that's in the chaos around us, there's still order. And new beginnings are new beginnings because it's the unknown. Yeah, and the unknown, your mind has no idea what it is. Your body doesn't know what it is. No one knows what it is. It is unknown. And that to a system is scary because we are here to survive on the planet and the unknown historically wasn't all that safe and currently might not also be that safe. And I always think about when people start working with the unseen to the eye unseen worlds and start to perceive other energies, oftentimes it's a moment of freak out when that contact is actually made because the energy is very different from a human frequency. So it's like, wow, what, what just happened? Yeah, that's, I suspect that's big part why people freak out when they meet ghosts, for example. And even the, in the fairy world, right? When that energy is very far from the human world, it can be at first very scary because it's so unknown to us. And the beauty of life is to fall into that unknown and to embrace it, and then to find what is your new rhythm in this chaos. And out of chaos comes cosmos, comes order. And it's a beautiful dance if we dance it. But if we try to hold on to what's dear and close, which we tend to do, it uh, can be rather intense, let's put it that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so we are in this time of initiation and check in with you and your body and what is it in your life that you might feel this pressure or this desire to start something new. Um, just notice that in yourself or others. It also could be a time of, of saying, whoa, no, I, don't, I can't. I, there's no energy on anything new. So equally as much 
um, trust that and just kind of, it's really noticing if there's that energy to start something new or you go, yeah, I see that around, but it's not really for me, but please honor that and um, stay true to you. Mm -hmm. It's still then the, the new coming in, right? Yeah, sure. It's you deal with the new by saying, not for me. It's like really important that you trust your awareness, number one. Don't put anyone or anything above that. Truly live true to you. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So make sure to read our blog this week mm -hmm. because we're telling you a story. We're sharing our story of jumping into the unknown. We are at the beginning of an unfolding of a very big adventure coming up. So read the blog, read, check into our email. If you haven't signed up for our newsletter, please do so. And then you will get that um, sent to you. And you can just go and check out our blog on our website, synergyinmotion.info. And as we're at it, I always forget, please let us know your adventure in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Or send us a text, an email, whatever works for you. Yeah, like what is what is the energy of the new beginning for you? Is it mm -hmm. difficult? Is it scary? Is it exciting? Is it non-existent? Just let us know. We like to have a good conversation in the area of the comments. So thank you. And let's take this unknown into a meditation, into the unknown. <laughs> so just... Take a deep breath and let the deep breath equally go, a deep out breath. And again, allow your body to become comfortable. And become present in this moment with your body and your breath. And in this present moment, connect with your heart, your energetic heart. And you can do that by Connecting with something that you do love, appreciate, or are grateful for. And allow that energy of caring and loving to expand while you allow your breath to flow and bring you present. And allow that energy of loving and caring to expand and create a space your sacred space. The space that connects you with you. This is your safe space. You can always return to the space, no matter how chaotic life gets. This is your space, your sacred space. And really allow your body to relax into that sense of you, that sense of loving and caring for you, that presence. Allow the space to deeply connect into you, within you and without you. And from that space, connect with that energy of new beginnings, mutation. The 
the energy of spring. The energy that we are in, on, in the world, where the old is about to move on, be done, and something new that we don't know yet is about to unfold. And within these unfoldings of spring and the changing of an epoch, perceive yourself and your life in it. How new beginnings coming your way. Inviting you into the unknown. Shining a light at the areas where you hold on to so that you can let go. And really f perceive that energy. You might know a concrete situation or example of where that's happening in your life. And yet, go deeper, perceive the energy of the new, washing away the old, bringing forth something different, something new, the unknown. And feel that connection with yourself and your sacred space and to meet that energy of the new, that which the mind cannot yet describe. And just observe what comes up for you. Is it nervousness, excitement, fear, a readiness for something different? What happens when you meet that energy of the unknown, of new beginnings? And if you dare, invite this energy to wash away your old ruts, those patterns and habits that no longer serve, they just feel comfortable. Just let them go into this energy of the new beginning. Allow chaos to unfold. While you are connected with your sacred space, connected with who you truly are.
And if there is an area in your life where you feel stuck, where you don't see new possibilities, take a moment and reflect what are you holding on to that you could let go that would create something different, something new. Are you willing to welcome the unknown, a new beginning into that area? And also be aware of the stories your mind is telling you. Just notice those same old, same old stories that you go to. And be present with that energy of the new beginning. Are there some stories that you're telling yourself about yourself, about the world, that you're willing to let go and go forth into the new, into the unknown, without knowing what will replace them, if anything. And just open up to that energy that's present, that new beginning, spring, and allow that energy to contribute to you, to change whatever is ready to change. So more of you can come forth. And while you are meeting this energy, let's expand our awareness together to this world, to this planet, where lots of new beginnings are ready to burst forth and are already bursting forth, creating a very different life on this planet. And let's just be present with that, in that energy of welcoming it, or saying, no, thank you, not for me. But being present with it, no matter what you choose.
and allow your caring, your loving to flow into that new beginning that is present. Let's tint this energy of new beginnings with our loving, with our caring, spreading it into the new. Spreading it to each other, caring for each other, loving each other, being present with each other. And then return with your awareness to your sacred space. And take a moment to love yourself, to care for yourself. To love yourself through the chaos of new beginnings. Into the unknown, welcoming new possibilities. Welcoming new parts of you to come forth. All the while, you care for yourself, you love yourself, into the new, into you, moment to moment. And as Juna and I love ourselves into the new moment, through the chaos, into the cosmos, we also love you and are very grateful for you on your journey into more of you. Thank you for being. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for being you and thank you for being here today. Mm -hmm. And thank you for that beautiful meditation. I was deep into it. <laughs> so, yeah, enjoy this next week and the new beginnings, this time of initiation, being initiated, initiating things. Um, go at your pace. It's all about the right timing for when something feels right, when something um, moves through you. And if nothing is moving, that's okay too. Um, yeah, so you can always revisit your sacred space when things get too chaotic or things get too predictable. Go to that sacred space and see what you find. Mm -hmm. um, we look forward to seeing you next week with another theme. And uh, yeah, make your comments in below how it's going with you. We love hearing from you. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs>